On today's episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, we're going to take a look at the Galaxy Lamps Galaxy Projector 2.0 and why I think you should not buy this. I mean, it looks pretty cool, right? And it was nice that the folks over at Galaxy Lamps reached out to me and said, hey, we'd like you to do a review for our product. And uh, what would you like? Would you like cash? Would you like commissions? They do all kinds of stuff for social media influencers. And I told them, I said, look, just send me the product for review. That's the only payment I need. Now, Galaxy Lamps have been around for several years. This is actually the, and they have several different products in their lineup. I'll have a link to their website below. This is the Galaxy Projector 2.0. This is like the latest version of their Galaxy Projector for use in decorating an arcade or game room, etc. Now, why exactly I would recommend you not buy this product, we'll save for the end of the video, but let's kind of go through things. So inside the box, you get a great instruction booklet, teaches you how to connect this to an Alexa, Google Chrome device, as well as a mobile app on your phone. So it's nice that it has some options. Nice also, they included a five volt AC adapter. Not a lot of companies include an actual power plug these days. So it's nice to see that included. You also have the USB cable. Uh, for power, this does need to be plugged in. There's no battery or anything of that nature. And here's the actual um, projector. Now, this particular projector has got blue laser lights uh, to simulate a star effect, as well as the other projector. We gotta we gotta peel that sticker off on the front there to reveal the blue laser lights. That's right there is where you plug in the AC adapter. It's a decent sized product, as you can see here. We got two little projector devices on the front. Decent little build quality. I mean, it doesn't feel super, super cheap in your hands. Nice little feet going around the whole bottom so you can mount this at various angles, pointed at the floor, the ceiling, the wall, whatever you need to do. Galaxy Lamps logo on the side. I mean, to get up and running, it's a very simple device. Anyone will be able to figure this out. All you do is obviously plug in your power cable, plug that into the wall outlet, and boom, you're done. Now, it does have seven different settings, so whenever you turn it on, and they have these outlined in the instruction booklet for you. All you have to do is click the button that's on the side where the Galaxy Lamps logo is. And once you click it, it'll change and cycle through the different options. So right here, let's go ahead and click it. You can have blue with blue stars, red with blue stars. Uh, you could also have, let's take a look, green with green stars, etc. And then there's various options where you can mix the colors together. And a nice feature that this Galaxy Lamps has is they have their own app on the iStore as well as on Android. All you have to do is search Galaxy Lamps and you can download the app. That way you could use your phone as a remote control for the device. After you download the app, you have to sign up and create an account, enter some personal information. So I cut that part out of the video. Click on the add a device and there's their lineup of devices right now. They got a Galaxy Lamp, a Moon Lamp, and this Galaxy Projector 2.0 and it gives you the instructions on the phone, on the app, on how to get it synced with the actual device. And again, you can hook this up to a Google Home device as well as an Alexa device to control it that way, which is cool. Instructions are in that instruction booklet, but if you don't wanna do that, at the bare minimum, you could hook it up to the phone, change the colors, change the brightness levels, and things like that. You'll notice that the projector and the laser lights will do what do you tell it to do when you're fiddling around with the app especially when it comes to changing colors, powering the device on and on, and things like that. So depending on the size of your arcade and game room, obviously this is a projector, so the closer you are to whatever you're broadcasting the image on, the smaller it's gonna be. The further away you are, the larger the image is gonna be. It all depends on your game room. That is one nice thing about projectors is the image will fit your game room depending on how close you have it mounted to whatever surface you're broadcasting it on. In this one, I'm just, you know, pointed at the ceiling of my arcade room with, you know, typical arcade lighting going on in the background so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. This is supposed to give it some kind of space effect, things like that. You could use this in a game room or just in a living room, family room. You could pretty much use this anywhere, kids room, when they're sleeping as a nightlight, you know, things like that. And as you can see, it's okay, but is it really that special? The reason that they sent this to me for the purpose of making a review video is they got a big sale going on on this product. It's on sale for $90. You'll notice that the typical retail price is near is double that. It's like $180 for what? For this Galaxy Projector 2.0? Even the $90 sale price doesn't make sense, and I'm going to tell you why. 
So back in July of 2022, so nearly a year ago, I did a review for the iArcade Space Invaders Arcade Cabinet. Notice anything going on in the background of these shots? I had purchased a projector off of Amazon, and you'll notice that it does the exact same thing. What you're seeing in the background is the identical thing that this Galaxy Projector 2.0 is. And I picked up this particular projector off of Amazon. There's tons of these kinds of projectors on Amazon, same quality, and they do the exact same thing. Same blue laser lights, same color patterns, same images. This Bliss Skylight 2.0 that I bought last year, only $50, and this is supposed to be a totally different company. And guess what? This device does the exact same thing, exact same features, options, quality. You can connect it to Alexa, Google, a phone app. It does everything Galaxy Projector 2.0 does, but for half the price. Their price just doesn't make sense, especially when you compare it to similar products that are available today on the market, which is why I just can't recommend this product to my viewers, knowing that it's overpriced and that there are similar products that do the exact same thing as this one. And it's just funny and ironic to me that I had previously purchased a similar product just to add a nice background effect to a product review I was doing a year ago. But this one's a no for me, dog. Let me know what you guys think. Give me your thoughts, feedback, reactions below. Give us a thumbs up on the way out if you enjoyed the review. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.